Hey there, gourmet campers. Today we're going to make pan-seared salmon with lemon rice and dill cream sauce. First we'll start with the rice. I have here two cups of water and some lemon. The ratio we need is two and a half cups of water to one cup of rice, so we'll make up the other half cup with lemon juice. We'll also throw in some zest for extra flavor. Now let's get at that zest. I have here a microplane grater, but you can use a fine tooth grater or a zester. Just make sure to leave behind as much of the white pith as you can. It's quite bitter and frankly doesn't taste very good at all. Now that we have the zest of our two lemons, we'll give it a quick chop and add it to our water. Now juice those two lemons into a half cup measure and top up with water if needed. I happened to luck out and had a couple of nice juicy lemons, so I just needed a tiny little drop of water. Now obviously lemons have seeds, so I'm just going to strain the seeds through my fingers. Now let's take a look at the rest of our ingredients. We of course have our rice. Half of a medium onion, chopped finely. Oh, about half a head of garlic, minced. About half a cup of chopped dill. And some cream. Oh yeah, and some salmon. That's probably a good thing to have. With the skin on. Now that our cooking liquid is up to the boil, we're going to add our rice and give it a stir. Give your rice a couple of minutes to come back in temperature a little bit. And then just cover it up with a lid and turn the temperature down as low as you can possibly get it. Now onto the salmon. This is kind of the uh, no fear kind of part of the recipe. It involves searing the skin side on a high temperature before flipping it over and allowing it to finish cooking. So we've got our nonstick frying pan. We're going to add some oil. It's about two tablespoons of oil allow it to get nice and hot. Now that the pan's hot, we're going to add the salmon, skin side down, and then we're going to turn the temperature down to about medium. Don't forget to season your salmon.
One last flip and we see the nice crispy skin on the bottom of our salmon. Now I'd like to give you a cooking time, but the best I can tell you is until it's done. It really depends on the thickness of your fish and the density of the muscle. The best advice I can give is to use a thermometer, if you're not that great at judging deadness. Now we're going to pull out the salmon and set it aside to rest while we make our sauce. First up, we add the onions. And we'll add about two tablespoons of butter to a rice, and just put the lid on and let it melt. And we'll just season our onions. And now we'll add our garlic. Now that our onions and garlic have browned up a little bit and are nice and fragrant, it's time to add our dill and cream. And then we'll put it back on the heat, just to thicken up and get nice and rich. And there you are, all the components to our meal, ready to go. Now to plate our meal, we'll take our lemon rice and place a couple of good scoops on the plate. Next, we'll take our salmon and place it skin side up, leaning against the rice. Add some of our rich creamy sauce, and there you have it. If you want to add some vegetable sides, perhaps some sautéed carrots to give it a little color, or some grilled asparagus. Or if you want to lighten up the meal a little bit, maybe a side salad. I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Again, thank you for watching this video and remember, keep cooking with fire.